All right, guys, we are back. Another day, another migraine. Okay, so um, I, I, like I said in my other videos, that the one that I did uh, with uh, Daryl Brooks is on Witness, uh, the amazing job that guy did. Uh, th th here's another one. Um, this is, again, one of Daryl Brooks, Brooks, Brooks's witnesses that he subpoenaed and called up on the stand um, that the prosecution... I, again, what are these guys doing over there? To me, it's like, do they get off at the end of the day and I'll have like a shot of scotch and, I don't know, a, a hookah pop and just be like, are we in reality right now? Okay, so he called this woman. I, I'm going to play some of this because he doesn't he doesn't question her very long and then the, uh, the uh, prosecution takes over. Um, but it is dumbfounded. Basically, all he kind of gets out of her is the fact that uh, she was there. Um, she didn't see who was driving the vehicle. Um, and um, I, I don't know. I'm just going to let her say it. If I need to stop, I'll stop. We'll make this one fairly quick. But again, these are people he called and put on the stand. Thank you so much. Your witness. Go ahead. Uh, good Sorry. afternoon, Miss Ure. Is it Urel? Urel. Urel. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm in workforce management for a call center. November 21st, 2021. Uh, directing your attention there. Mm -hmm. You recall that, that evening pretty well? Off and on, sir. That's fair. Now, I want you to. I, I'm going. I'm going to spoil something here just for a second because it's important. Uh, it's important. If you have not been watching this trial, I'm just gonna to, to do it basically. Um, now, in, think about the questions he's asking her. This and then I'm going to spoil something. For you. This woman has four children. All four of her children were injured that day of the parade. Now, either this idiot. Uh, again, I think he's just going off records or whatever that his uh, uh, his defense attorneys were trying to compile for him before the before the hearing. Uh, to me, these that his the uh, defense attorneys probably would have never called this woman. They would have probably researched further in, thinking if the state had called her, they might have had some rebuttal questions. Because again, that I think she was on the yeah she was on the state's uh, uh, subpoena list, but they didn't bring her in. So if you're a defense attorney, then you just prepare for some preliminary questions to ask a person in cross-examination to try and either kind of uh, trick up their, you know, their memory. Did you remember this? Or, you know, you know just, just some basic questions. So again, this is just my opinion. I don't think they would have ever called her as a witness. They couldn't have. They didn't, we hadn't subpoenaed her. He subpoenaed her. So I think he saw her name on the list or something. It was like, oh, yeah, let's call her. She didn't really see anything. Wait till the prosecution takes over. This is how, this is why you don't re represent yourself in a case this large unless you are qualified, right? Unless you actually want to sit down and do all the work and educate yourself on how the law works. Uh, do you recall what you were doing that evening? Yes, sir. And what were you doing that evening? At what time? Uh, around 3.34 o'clock-ish. I was dropping off my children who were participating in the parade. And you know what, she's trying to hold it together right there. I was dropping off my kids who were participating in the parade. Okay, okay. Now imagine you sitting there having a look at the person allegedly that injured all four of your babies. And, and they've subpoenaed you to try and defend them. Did you yourself stay for the parade? Partial parade, yes. Um, partial meaning uh, maybe a few minutes? Until my group of children went by. Okay. Uh, do you recall where you were positioned d uh, during watching your group participate in the parade? There. Yes, on uh, north and east, right on the corner there. North and east. If you're going parade route, it would be on the right-hand side. Okay. Just just so we have 
clarification, can uh, you pull up the exhibit? I believe it's 15. We can. Thank you. Go ahead. And thank you. Can we show it to the witness first? Um, he doesn't want it published, so just to the witness for now. Just not, not yet. Just I want to make sure the witness gets a chance to view it first. <laughs> Can you Amazing. see that uh, on your screen yet? I do. And using the touch screen, it's a touch screen. Can you uh, point out where it's you... It's not published. So oh. do you want it published? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, published. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I just wanted to point so that out. Just so I know, to use the touch, it has to be published? No, she could use it, but if you're going to have her do it, it should be done in front of the okay. jury. Fair. Okay, go ahead. I think we got to wait on the jury right now. Thank you. Um, for the jury, can you, using the touch screen uh, on your screen, can you uh, point out exactly where you were positioned? Yeah. When I was watching it? Yes, when you were watching it. Right on the corner. Sorry. Oh, well, if you want to <laughs> can you clear, it can again, you clear that, I'll do it again. The arrow. We'll clear it. You can do it again. Yeah. If you don't want, do you want the arrow? Well, it was to the... Clear it again. Okay. <laughs> so it's a touch screen, so use your index finger and you can draw a circle. Okay. I was going to say that. Well, I mean, it was right I, there, but... I was going to say a circle or a little dot if... Well, I thought I would do it with that, but... Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> we'll do it again. <laughs> So it, press and hold while you draw. Okay. There you go. And you said that would be uh, approximately uh, uh, East Main and Northeast? Correct. And do you recall if those will, will <coughs> there's side streets right there that, that you I choose would be I'm North? I can skip some of this. group had had passed correct and until uh, your group had had passed correct and what time did you leave I can't determine the time it was right after my group of kids went by and where'd you go from here I walked down well I went to go get the car because I had to go pick them up uh, at the end of the parade. Now imagine the amount of like just bravery this mother has to sit there and answer these questions the way that she is. To me though, like, you know, she's not apparently again, it, it just in my opinion, it just exemplifies the fact that he's not really done his research on any of these people or their families that that was injured. Because he called her up, and then how she's answering these questions is like, oh, you know, I had to go pick him up. It, it's crazy to me that he and called this woman. I'm assuming at some point your attention got drawn to something happening. Would that be fair to say? Not necessarily. Uh, what do you remember uh, when, when you went to go get the vehicle to pick up uh, members of your group with that that be fair to say first? I don't want to assume. Yeah. Uh, do you recall anything happening at that point? Uh, a situation did occur um, before the said big event that took place. Uh, what do you recall happening uh, at that time once you were on your way to get, uh, get your vehicle? I think I need more specifics from you to give the details you may be looking at. And, and I'm going to, I'm letting this play through because it's crazy. I, I th to look at this man, he feels like he's got a gotcha. Like when he, he asks these questions, he's like, well, I proved my case. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then the bottom falls, the prosecution stands up and his whole bottom falls out. Or the goat that I did the other day, he, he, he starts questioning him and it makes him look like even 
more of an idiot. Like, you know, this is one of these situations where this dude, it might have behooved this dude if he'd have read some about who this woman is, about any of her kids. Um, while you were getting your vehicle, did you observe anything happening? Did you overhear about anything happening at that point? Nothing of that nature. I, well, all I can say is that uh, I was walking past White Rock. Did you see anything that may have alerted your attention at that time? Yes, a car coming through the parade at the beginning on White Rock where the parade was starting. So when I left, I walked down Main to White Rock on the corner there. Then a gentleman, a child, who I don't know who they were, and myself walked across the street. And at this time, a car was beeping and weaving around a slight curve that White Rock has, and then continued, <coughs> continued on. If you're wondering, uh, to me, this is why he called her. He just saw the part where she said something was beeping. You know, he's like, oh, there I got him. Told you I was blowing my horn. You know, <laughs> like, wow. Uh, did you see where, do you, sorry. Did you see where the car went at that point? Uh, yes, I did. As it came around the slight curve White Rock has, it started to move forward, and then it went straight across when I was thinking it was going to leave the parade route. If you leave the parade route on Main, you're leaving. Sorry, if you turn left, you're leaving the parade route. If you're turning right, you're going right into the parade. And it went right to the, if you're looking at the parade, it was on the right-hand side. And it's continued on into the parade. Hold on, just for the record, she was using her hands yeah. during her testimony. I just need, well, that's okay. <laughs> I just need to make a yeah. record of it. Uh, usually her right hand just kind of demonstrating uh, the course of travel that she described the vehicle. Um, and I think that's probably all I need to put on the record. Sure. That. Go ahead. Next question. Um, I want to back up a little bit. Uh, when you first observed this car, as you say, as you, you recall said. that it was blowing his horn. Yep, it was the horn was beeping. Do you recall if you saw who was operating that vehicle? Unfortunately, sir, I can't recall. See, this is where he brought her. Do you recall if you might have seen uh, multiple people in the vehicle at that time? Or? You know, unfortunately, due to the time passing, I cannot recall. <laughs> That's fair. It has been a while. And the way that she's like, like, even turned her, you know, like as a half ran up to him and calls him sir. Lord knows, I, it, I would not be able to do this. Do you recall about what time that was that you observed the vehicle? Again, I, I can't be sure. Sorry if I keep asking. No, I, the... I can't be sure. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And every time I hear, I wish some, I, I think a recall. I wish they would sit, hand out some damn crop drops to these people. All right. I live in Tennessee. I know it's that time of year. Everybody that has allergies and crap, we all know how it goes. We all break down in the sniffling, coughing, whatever, when things grow and when things die. So spring and fall is the worst time for us all. But daggum, if they can afford to put these massive industrial size air purifiers in there, hand out some daggum recolas. At the at the time that you observed the the vehicle, did you see it strike anyone? I did not, or at least I don't recall. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Yeah, this ain't no gotcha. Look, you know, as as much as he snapped at this dude, this guy's writing down. Mm hmm. Drag him for this. Write down this. Make a tick. Video after all this is over. Here's my Instagram post. I'm gonna text my mom and tell her how much I love her. Like you know what I'm saying?
This is like, where's like, and the hell is going on here? Why would he call this woman up as a witness? And do you recall if the uh, if the vehicle was speeding at that point that you observed it? It wasn't speeding, but it was. All I can state is it wasn't speeding. Did you happen to catch the license plate number of the vehicle at that time? No, not at all. Do you recall if the vehicle had any tinted windows? Uh, I couldn't recall. I'm any sorry. Any windows rolled down or up at the time you observed it? No, unfortunately, I don't remember. Do you recall if the vehicle uh, passed close to where you were, were walking at at the time? Yeah. It was close enough that it could have easily uh, have, have uh, clipped me or the two people that were in front of me. Were you or uh, the two people that you referred to in front of you, were any of you, uh, any of you hurt at that time? No. Now, this is the dumbest. Well, listen, listen. He thinks these are all, well, were y'all hurt? Uh, oh, it's not going to end well, Mr. Brooks, for you today. No further questions right now. <clears throat> Oh, now here he comes. Here he comes. Everybody, get your wine glasses uh, and, the, and get your Kleenex because this is heartbreaking. Again, I remind everyone he called this witness. Hey, Cross. Yes, thank you. Good afternoon, Ms. Urell. Thank you for being here. You testified on direct examination that you don't recall <coughs> whether or not you saw more than one person in that vehicle we're talking about. Remember saying that? Yes. You remember meeting on December 2nd, 2021, for an interview with Detective Jay Carpenter from the Waukesha Police Department? I remember the, I remember going as to a lot of topic of conversations. I unfortunately can't um, recall those too clearly. Do you remember telling Detective Carpenter that you only observed a driver in the vehicle? Jay should leave, please. Yeah, I overruled my answer. I, I can't Jay hear you, sir. Overruled, she may answer. Can you say that again? I'm sorry. I, I can't be too sure again, some of the conversations I might have had that day. Do you remember what this vehicle looked like? I do not. Do you remember telling Detective Carpenter that it was a red truck? I do not. Okay. Can we please put up uh, for everybody Exhibit 15 again? Go ahead. Can we zoom in on the intersection of East and Main? Your testimony is that you were standing here on the northeast corner of Buckley and Main Street. Is that right? Correct. Objection already answered that act and answered. Um, overruled, she may answer. You said correct? Correct. And after your children walked by in the parade, you walked in this direction towards the intersection of White Rock and Main. Is that correct? Objection correct. leading and speculative. <laughs> It's not speculation when they're the person that did it. I, again, the comments down below, like, I feel your pain. I think all you feel my pain. The, the, his lack of just basic knowledge about even how objections work. And he objects to almost every question. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, that's okay. Correct, that was. And then you crossed through the crosswalk on the north side of Main Street, is that correct? Yes. Is that when you saw this vehicle we've been talking about? Uh, yes. So you were standing in the crosswalk? Correct. Do you remember a police officer being in that intersection? I can't be too sure. Okay. Was it clear to you that this was a parade route? Cur yes, it was. Very clear. Was it clear to you that traffic from White Rock should not have driven <laughs> onto Main Street? Yes. Unless they were part of the parade? Yes. Did it appear to you as though the vehicle we've been talking about was part of the parade? No. How many children do you have, Miss Miss Urell? Objection, irrelevant. Overruled. Irrelevant. It's irrelevant. I mean, look, uh, uh, just brace yourself, okay? He called this woman to put her on the stand. Yes.
poor children. All four of your kids were marching in the parade that day, weren't they? Yes. Objection leading. Overruled. Sorry. Your oldest daughter, Charlotte, she was 14 at the time? Yes. She was marching with the Extreme Dance Group as an alumni, wasn't she? She was Objection. handing out candy. Objection. There was an objection. It's overruled. I didn't even state why I was objecting, but okay. We still need a 15. A yes, please. You see on that map the five points intersection? Yes. When you were standing in the crosswalk at White Rock in Maine, could you see the five points intersection? I could not. You didn't see your kids get hit, did you? I did Objection not. Objection leading. Sorry. Overruled. I'll give them sorry. Objection hearsay. Overruled. You didn't? I did not. Did you see them later that night? Objection leading. Overruled. <laughs> I was only able to see two of my children that night. When did you see the other two? <laughs> Days later, when I was able to leave Children's Hospital. As their mother, you were directly involved in their medical care? the decisions that were made in that process in the days after the parade? Objection leading. That's where, no, that's where he's laying the foundation for the fact that she would know what happened to them medically. She would know what their injuries are. You idiot. Yes, the father and I. Charlotte suffered a chipped vertebrae from being struck, didn't she? She Objection. did. Objection Overruled. She did. <coughs> Your daughter, Alice, she was 10 at the time, wasn't she? She was. <coughs> she suffered chipped front teeth, is that correct? Yes. And facial scarring? Yes. And road rash? Yes. And a broken fibula and tibia? Yes. And broken metatarsal bones? Yes. And to me, she's looking straight at it. I don't know this for sure, but look where her eyes are. It ain't on the prosecution. It ain't on the prosecution. To me, she's looking straight at it. Remember, they imagine facial scarring. Ten-year-old kid have permanent facial scar. That's what a scar is. It ain't a scratch scar. She was observed in a concussion protocol. Is that correct? She was. Your daughter Vivian, she was marching with the Extreme Dance Group too, wasn't she? <coughs> uh, yes, she was. How old was she in November of 21? She just turned seven. Vivian suffered a severe concussion, didn't she? Objection leading. Seven. Yes. And road rash? Extreme road rash. And a lung contusion? Uh, uh, yes. And facial scarring? Yes. Facial scarring. And your seven-year-old seven daughter. Facial scarring. I mean, listen, all everything else is horrible. All of it. Obviously, the facial scarring to most people would be like, oh, that's the least of her worries when you got a, a lung contusion, right? But, like, when you think you're that young and your pay, face is permanently um, I, I, you know what I'm saying, that being that young of a kid and just I don't know, it just it's just sad. All, it's all around sad. Tailbone, didn't she? Back up and Four. Yes. And facial scarring? Yes. And your seven, you know, seven year old daughter Vivian suffered a broken tailbone, didn't she? She did. Your <laughs> son, Grayson, he was eight on November 21st, 2021. Is that correct? That is Jackson correct. Lady. 
he was walking with the extreme dance group handing out candy. Is that right? He was. He went to the hospital after the parade, didn't he? Yes. He suffered a compound fracture in his femur. Is that correct? An open compound fracture. Look straight at it. When does the call? It was an open compound fracture. You've been finding what that is. Meaning the bone came through the skin? Yes. The person here said, I'll, I'll believe he's a doctor. Overruled the witness may answer, based upon personal knowledge. Is that a guess? Yes. A police officer saved Grayson's life by placing a tourniquet on that open, open leg wound. Is that correct? Yes. I don't have any other questions. But if you didn't hear that, that's that daggum freaking prosecutor taking his notepad and going on the desk. Like... I do not blame him in the slightest. Like, how dare you bring this person and put them on the stand like they are a good witness for you? Like, how dare you? Like, it, again, you know, God works in mysterious ways, right? I think the Lord is looking out for this little town, this the mother of his children, the poor victims of what happened that day, and his dumb ass that decided to defend himself to bring this mother of these four kids that he injured all four of them, all four of her kids. And then he gonna put his hand over his mouth like, oh my God, I, really? He's so concerned sitting in a courtroom, but was he concerned enough to stop the car and say, what the hell have I done? Did he give a shit enough Did he care that day when he did it? Just remind everyone of something. This is a good time to do it. This is the red SUV that day. This thing didn't, as far as any picture I've ever saw, didn't even have didn't even have a a, a, a dent from a you know a, a flying bird from what I could tell. Every bit of this damage, as far as I know, every bit of it was created by human beings, by this woman's four children, by the four grandmothers that no longer have their lives, by the 81-year-old man, by the 8-year-old boy, his 12-year-old brother. The 8-year-old boy lost his life. The 12-year-old boy was like in critical condition. Like the number of seven, I think there's 77 counts on this man. This is that vehicle. This is what that vehicle looks like he was driving that day. This put his hand over his mouth. Oh my God, I'm so concerned. I cannot believe this. Gasp and horror. This is, this is another reason why he's trying to trip people up. You see these back windows are tinted? Like, you know, in factory tinting. With the, like these, some of these vehicles, they do that, and then they don't tint the front windows. Like a, look at this. Look at this. I want to show something else, too. Wait a minute. I don't see it here. No, I'll just let it go. Look at this. Look at this. This, again, was not created by a tree or a fence or a house or another car. This wasn't a light pole. This wasn't a fire hydrant. This was by the people of Waukesha in the Christmas Parade. That's flesh and bones and babies and grandmas and mothers, and grandmothers, children. That's his big, that, that's this guy who now hand over his mouth can't believe it he did it allegedly and it again it is like nails on a chalkboard for me to have to say that word I've seen the evidence 
No redirect. You think? No redirect? What was that? No redirect? You think? So just as a reminder, just, these are just idiots witnesses. These are, these are the people that he's putting on the stand that the prosecution wasn't even going to call to testify. Imagine how many people that they had that they could have put on that stand to tell more even horrifying stories than this woman just did. Imagine if he, they put on the stand the parents of the eight-year-old boy. The, um, uh, the, uh, um, that's that that's Daryl Brooks. Well, anyway, all right. Uh, I'll be back for another one. Try and throw some other stuff in between here, and let me know below. I thought about even going over some like older cases that used to do, like the Casey Anthony stuff or whatever. But I like listen. I watch all kinds of stuff. Okay. I mean, I mean all kinds of stuff. Like, I like criminal cases. Um, uh, Hollywood news, I do. I like to dig in sometimes to, like, strange conspiracy theories or, you know, especially, like, secret societies. I used to do that a lot. Like, uh, I like funny videos. I like uplifting videos. Like, I watch a lot of stuff. But... And I have to, I have to in between this crap, because this stuff will just make you mean. This stuff will just make you mad. This stuff will make you vengeful. Mm. And for the people of Waukesha, I think I could speak for the same people of this country or hopefully around the world that it does not go unnoticed of the amount of, of pain and suffering that one person could create in one Christmas parade evening. Mm. All right, guys, with that, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for sticking with me. And again, thanks for all the love on that other video. Um, if you like what you see, you know what to do. It's YouTube. But thank all y'all. Catch you in the next one.